Well, folks, it is Halloween. It is Halloween, for Christ's sake. And where I'm at, it is a cold Halloween. We got clouds. We got we got some snow coming down. It's 34 degrees out there. A uh, bit too warm for the snow to stick around, but it is, it is only a couple degrees above freezing. But let me tell you right up front, it may be cold out there. But motherfucker, I'm one hot son of a bitch right now. You know why? Because I've been thinking. And I've been thinking about Sunday's game against the scum, the heathen, the devil, the... Oh my God! The scum, the heathen, the devil, the loser... The nothing, Dallas Cowboys. You know, you know that they're my most hated team. You know the Dallas Cowboys are literally my most hated fucking team. I can't stand the Dallas Cowboys. I despise the Dallas Cowboys. I spit on a I spit on the cowboys. Now, you're probably wondering, Plague, why do you hate this team? What do you have against the Dallas Cowboys? Besides the fact that you root for the Philadelphia Eagles, besides the fact, Plague, that, that you're an Eagles fan. And Eagles fans are pretty much morally obligated to hate the Cowboys. Besides, like, midnight green trappings aside, plague. Why do you hate the Cowboys? Now, that's a good question. Why do I despise the Cowboys so much? Why do I hate this team? What is it about this Dallas Cowboys team that makes me love to hate them, for Christ's sake. That's a good question. Now, for the answer, you're going to have to go back in the goddamn uh, archive of the channel. You're going to have to go back in the video lists. So, but in case you don't want to go that far back, because it is a few years, so I don't blame you. I've been doing this for six years now, so if you don't want to go that far back, I don't blame you. But folks, but folks, uh, the reason I hate the Cowboys, the reason I hate the Cowboys, and I will, I will give you, I will give you that history lesson. The reason I hate the Cowboys, <clears throat> it's not just because I'm an Eagles fan. All right, it's not just because I root for the Philadelphia Eagles, and we're pretty much obligated morally to hate the Cowboys. Granted, that is one of the reasons. That's one of the reasons, but it's not the reason. It's not the only reason. Now, my reasons for hating the Cowboys, like I said in the last video, I don't need a reason to hate them. I hate them because they're scum. I hate them because they exist. I hate them because they breathe. But... While I may not need a reason to hate them, I do have a reason to hate them, and that reason is, back when I first started to uh, do the channel, back when I first started to do Philadelphia Eagles post-game videos, all right, I, w I, I was in college, and I went to college in, and I also actually lived in a part of the country, I, I lived out west, and I lived in a part of the country that <laughs> that was infested by a large contingent of mouthy cowboy fans, all right? You think that's bad enough, but the, the Eagles, the Philadelphia Eagles, 
Remember, this was during the rebuild years. This was post Super Bowl 52. This was during the rebuild years. I mean, I've always hated the Cowboys because I've pretty much always been an Eagles fan. But what really reinforced my hatred for this for this Dallas Cowboys team was during the rebuild years. Especially during the rebuild years, the Philadelphia Eagles would constantly lose to this team. They would constantly lose to the Dallas Cowboys. You think it's bad enough that my team loses, you know, it was losing consistently to a team that I just don't like. But these Cowboy fans, they knew I was an Eagles fan. They saw me in, like, my little Eagles swag. You know, they knew I was an Eagles fan because, while I didn't have very much Eagles swag, because my family didn't have a whole lot of money, so they couldn't really afford, you know, football stuff, and I didn't have a lot of money, so I really, you know, I was in college. Are you kidding me? I can't really afford Eagle swag while I'm in college because I got to focus on my schooling, right? I was a student. I had to focus on being, you know, getting, getting good grades and getting smart, right? But everyone at that school knew, despite the fact that I didn't have very much Eagle swag. In fact, I didn't get my first real piece of Eagle swag until I graduated from college as a present from my grandmother. Now, it's a shirt. It's one of my shirts. You've seen me in it. And I'm not going to lie to you. It's got a few holes in it because it's an old shirt, because it's like five, six years old. But, folks, until that shirt is reduced to rags, I will continue to wear that shirt until it is reduced to rags. And I don't have any choice but to, you know, do something with it besides wear it. I'm not going to throw away a piece of Eagle swag, no matter how dilapidated it gets. But when that shirt turns into into a fucking patchwork of rags, I got to do something with it. And I got to do something respectful, right? But, folks, we consistently lost during the rebuild years to this Dallas Cowboys team. And <laughs> these Malvi Cowboys fans, they knew I was an Eagles fan, so they'd throw it in my face. Because I would broadcast all around college during football season. I root for the Philadelphia Eagles. I root for the Philadelphia Eagles. So everybody at that school, it was a small college. It was a smaller school. Everybody pretty much knew each other. Everybody was, you know, so everybody knew I was an Eagles fan. And these Maldi Cowboys fans, when we lost to the Cowboys, would let me fucking have it. I swear to God. I swear to God, these idiots would let me have it. Now, before that, before I was in college, of course, before you're in, you go to college, you got to go to high school, right? So here I am in fucking high school in that same part in that same part of the goddamn country. Surrounded by fucking cowboy fans. Now, folks, in high school I didn't really understand how the game was played. I was more of a casual Eagles fan. Like, I didn't take it as seriously as I do now, but I was still an Eagles, Eagles fan, don't get me wrong. But, so it's not like everybody knew I was an Eagles fan and was rubbing it in my face. That didn't happen until college when I really understood the game. No, what made me hate the Cowboys back then, besides being an Eagles fan, was, if you remember, back then the Cowboys quarterback was Tony Romo. Now, the thing about Tony Romo is, and I'm sure even Cowboy fans can agree with me on this, even guys like fucking Cowboy's face, what's going on to that guy, by the way? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, we got your team this week, so I'm going to expect some, con you know, some fucking comments from you, you trolling-ass bastard. Uh, back then, their quarterback was Tony Romo. And the thing about Romo was he sucked. Romo sucked, Okay. You and I both know, you and we all know that Tony Romo was only put on this Cowboys team at QB to sell fucking shoes. He sold shoes and played shitty football. That's it! And that every time I turn on the goddamn TV, 
it was Romo, 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 Romo. I'd flip on, I'd flip on ESPN. Romo, Romo, praise Jesus. And I got so mad, I could, I could have shit a fucking brick. For God's sake, man. <laughs> I, I guess I guess, I guess what I'm trying to I guess the point I'm trying to drive home is folks I hate the Cowboys that's it you know why I hate the Cowboys I just told you gave you a history lesson <coughs> moreover why don't you look back in the archive I strongly encourage you to check out some of my older shit and of course you know my really older old shit from when I first started this channel is I'll be honest a little cringy a little cringy, but folks, I was doing what I'm doing right now. I was, you know, I was supporting my Philadelphia Eagles the best way I knew how, and I just gotten my channel off the ground. I, I was just starting out. We were all new at some point. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, folks, I hate the Cowboys, and if you have any sense in your head, you hate the Cowboys too. Did you know that statistically speaking, the Dallas Cowboys are the most hated team in the NFL? I'm serious. They are the most hated team in the nation in the league right now. They're the most hated team in the league. <laughs> and you know what, folks? I actually I don't find that surprising, but I actually find that funny are you kidding me i find that fucking funny <laughs> we're sitting over here no one likes us no one likes us no one likes us we don't care we're from philly fucking philly no one likes us we don't care and you know we us eagles fans we think no one likes us oh my god you know Try having your mama drop you on your head when you're a fucking baby and, you know, a few years later you start rooting for the Cowboys. Because if you're a Cowboys fan, you've got to be one, you've got to be fucking special. Your mother had to have dropped you on your head. Some damn thing. Because obviously you're not right in the head. But you wipers. Obviously you're not right in the damn head. All right? So... Look, the whole point of this video is we got the Cowboys on Sunday, and I'm very confident that we, can, that we can beat this team. Statistically speaking, the Philadelphia Eagles are the best team in the fucking league right now. We're sitting over here on top, best team in the NFL, to which I say, God, we're where we should be on top. And just think, just think of what'll happen when we really start strutting our shit. You wait, motherfucker. You wait. And when we play the Cowboys, oh my God, I expect, I expect a brawl. I expect a damn fine brawl. And you know what, Micah Parsons? I haven't forgotten about you, you son of a bitch, saying that Cowboys fans are going to take over the link. <laughs> uh, no. Nobody takes over the link. Unless, of course, you're... Unless, of course, you root for the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles fans take over... Eagle fans take over the link all the time. But then again, that's our house. We're supposed to take it over. If this game's at the link, it's in Philly. We got home field advantage. You fuck... Now let me tell you something, something we can all agree on. The goddamn cowboys are the scum of the earth. The goddamn cowboys are the scum of the earth. And the Philadelphia Eagles will not rest. We will not sleep for an instant. We will not sleep for an instant. Until we have proven beyond a doubt That we are not only statistically, but we're just plain stronger than all.
And we're already stronger than all statistically. Numbers wise. Even, even the numbers are like, folks. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm confident as fuck. All right? I will continue to stand by this Philadelphia Eagles team. Win, lose, or tie, I'm an Eagles fan till I fucking die! Win, lose, or tie, I'm an Eagles fan till I fucking die! And me? Talking my shit now? Before the game? Before the battle? Before anybody knows what's going to happen? We can only speculate? That makes me a man. That makes me a man. You, you people, you fake fans, you naysayers, you eagle haters, you fucking cowboy fans, you know, waiting till after the game and coming out from under your rock when it's safe after the fact, you coming out from the pillbox when the battle's over, makes you a fucking coward. I fucking hate the cowboys. All right? Cowboy fans? Your team is fucking dead on Sunday, all right? Your team is dead. We will fucking murk you. The Philadelphia Eagles will beat the Dallas Cowboys. I don't care about jinx. I'm not superstitious. I don't believe in that jinx crap. I'm going to come out and say it right now. Super, superstition, that's for losers. That's loser shit. What you do over here has no correlation to what the Eagles do over here, at least in my opinion. So I will say with confidence, the Philadelphia Eagles will beat the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday. We are going to beat Dallas on Sunday. And your cheerleaders, the Eagles cheerleaders are way hotter than, you, than your fucking cheerleaders. In their little fucking cowgirl boots and their hats. We're way hot. We're, we're, we're over here. Our cheerleaders are way hotter and our team is way fucking better. And you know what? Dallas Cowboy cheerleading squad, come on over to the Midnight Green side. Because, I mean, why would you voluntarily cheer for this team, ladies? Come on, honey. You're smarter than this. You're smarter than this. Take me off the air. I'm fucking done with it. <laughs>